Hello, everyone. Welcome to another short video on our own devices. I'm Jean Messier, and today we're having a look at yet another simple mechanical calculator from the mid 20th century. Now, I absolutely love looking at these because while the basic operating mechanism is fairly similar between different models, the specific implementation of that mechanism is always just a little bit different, and I find that fascinating to look at. Now, this particular model that we're looking at today is a Swift Handy Calculator. And the design for this was patented in 1956 by prolific Italian adding machine designer Sergio Lanza, and based on an earlier 1899 patent by fellow Italian Carlo Fossa Mancini. So these were sold under the brand name Adamat in Europe and Adapresto in North America, with the European models being renamed Adapresto starting in 1964. Now, unfortunately, Sergio Lanza only patented this design in Italy, allowing foreign companies to produce much cheaper clones of this design, which eventually pushed the Brevetti Lanza company out of business. Now, one of the major foreign manufacturers of these types of devices was the Swift Business Machine Corporation of Hong Kong, which produced copies of the Adamat Adapresto under the brand names Bentley, Schnellrechner in Germany, or Swift Handy Calculator, like the one we have here. Other foreign copies include the Chadwick Desk Automatic and the Hiltra Automatic, both manufactured in Japan. Right, so let's have a closer look at the Swift Handy Calculator and how it works. So like previous adding machines that we've looked at, this is based on a series of interconnected number wheels. So specifically, we have seven wheels arranged right to left for the units, tens, hundreds, etc., allowing us to add up to 9,999,999. So these wheels have ratchet teeth on the outside, and these are meant to be turned using an included stylus, which would normally be stored in either this hole at the top or this one on the side. However, this particular example is missing its stylus, so we're just going to use a regular pen. So you would use the large black numbers for addition, simply putting your pen beside the number you want to add, dragging the wheel down to the bottom, and the number is going to appear in these windows at the top. And every time a wheel goes past 9, it is going to increment the next wheel over by one space. So you'll notice that there is also a set of smaller red numbers on this machine, and these are the 9's complements, which allow you to perform subtraction. So for a more thorough overview of how 9's complements math works, please check out my previous videos on the Wolverine toy adding machine and the Magic Brain calculator. But as an example, let's say we want to subtract 88 from 144. Well, we would enter 144 on our machine, and we would look at the red numbers to see what our 9's complement would be. So for 88, this would of course be 1 and 1. And so we would add 1 and 1 to our units and our 10's column to get 155. Then, following the rules of 9's complement math, we would then add the leftmost digit, in this case 1, to the rightmost to get 56, which is the correct answer. And then if we want to reset our machine to zero, we simply pull back on this little orange lever here and all the wheels will rotate back to zero. So let's actually take this apart to see how it works because this has a really slick operating mechanism. Right, so we just take a few screws off the bottom and the cover lifts right off. So we can see that our wheels have not one, but four number sequences going from zero to nine. And we'll have a look at why that is in just a second. And then on the other side of the machine, we can see that we have two sets of spring loaded poles that engage in the ratchet teeth on the wheels themselves. We have a smaller set of plastic poles on the bottom, which hold the wheels in place when you rotate them. And then we have a larger set of metal poles, which serve to increment the next wheel over when the previous wheel rotates through nine. Now, the mechanism that actuates this system is a little difficult to see with the end panels installed. So what I've done here is made a replacement end panel out of clear plastic. So each number wheel has what's known as a four lobe snail or drop cam, and this engages with a spring loaded follower that is attached to the poles. So as I rotate each wheel, you can see that the follower rides on the outside of the cam and cocks the adjacent pole farther and farther back. Finally, as it goes over nine, the follower drops off the cliff at the end of the cam surface, and that pole snaps forward and increments the adjacent wheel by one position. Now, interestingly, this mechanism also forms part of the reset system. So because they are spring loaded, the followers are applying constant pressure to the cam surfaces. And if the wheels were not secured, these followers would force the wheels to rotate 
to the next cliff in the cam surface, forcing it back to zero. But because we have this smaller set of pulls at the bottom, the wheels are held in whatever position you leave them. However, when I move the reset lever, this is going to move all of the pulls back, releasing them from the ratchet teeth on the wheels and allowing the wheels to rotate under spring tension to the next zero, resetting the machine. So really quite a clever and elegant system. Now these machines continued to be manufactured until around the mid-1970s when the advent of affordable electronic calculators rendered adding machines like these obsolete. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time in another video where we'll look at yet more adding machines and other fascinating devices just like this one. Until then, I'm Jean Messier from Our Own Devices. Have a great day.